good day and welcome to today's construction class my name is Ulu Atombi Blessing or La Lekon, the founder of MyKTech. For today, we will be considering the problem production of an ellipse using the rectangular method. Production of an ellipse using the rectangular method. So let's wrap. So let's reproduce a rectangle of 120 by 80 millimeters. So I'm going to produce that right now. 120 by 80. All right, by 80. So this is my rectangle right here. Okay. So I'm going to actually make that uh, a color of green, since it's a thin line, something like this, lemon or green, something like that. That is it. So then the next thing is I'm going to divide my uh, rectangle into four equal parts first of all. So from here, down here like this, all right, then from here, like this also, all right. So now, what am I going to do? I'm going to divide uh, this mark. So I'm denoting this area as mark A, all right. I'm denoting this area as mark okay so we are having the mark a b c and d so i'm going to divide mark all right so i'm going to divide the distance between a to o into three equal parts then b to o into three equal parts all right so to do that i'm going to yeah on paper you can actually use your ruler or use the, was the division of line technique or use the division of line technique all right so i'm going to do that right now one two one and two all right having that in that order right there so as a result of that i'm going to divide a to d into six equal parts like that since my a to b is already divided into six equal parts so my a to d will be divided into what into six equal parts so you can use the division of line principle so if you don't understand what uh division of line principle actually entails kindly check the link under the description below to actually know how to do that so that you can proceed with this uh video all right so after dividing that i'm going to pick my line from mark from mark zero right here I'm going to draw like this to here all right so from here to here and to this area like that so i'm going to replicate the same thing at the bottom part like this all right and i'm going to replicate the same thing to the opposite side like that so all right all right now so what's the next procedure for me the next procedure for me is to pick my line in this order from the midpoint here i'm drawing through this like this then i'm also drawing through uh this like this so uh this area is my mark one so i'm going to extend this line take note of it so to where it touches this area there while this one to where it touches this so take note of that please take note of that so i'm going to do the same thing on the opposite like this also so from here to here and from here to here Okay, then I'm going to extend this all the way to one and this all the way to two like that. So after doing that, I'm going to actually draw my what to draw my uh my curve, all right. And for the curve, you can actually use your what you can use your French curve, okay. So you can use your French curve to draw out the curve, all right. So for mine, I'm going to actually use uh this to draw it so let me start from here one two and three i think that's okay like that all right and very proceed let me actually replicate this white line to the opposite side see so to do that okay so then i'm going to actually replicate this also 
this like this like this so i'm going to continue drawing my curve so i'm going to draw this to this and all the way there like that okay so i'm going to replicate it to the bottom all right like this so i can actually increase the thickness of this to something this all right so i'm going to replicate uh this to the bottom also like this like this then i'm getting both of this to the other side so all of this i'm doing yeah you do it with your with your french curve after getting the point all right and that is the production of an ellipse using uh the rectangular method so the very first thing is what to produce a rectangular box divide it into four equal halves then uh divide a to b into six equal parts all right a to d into six equal parts yeah that's my choice if the span of your ellipse is wider than this you can divide a to b into eight equal parts and a to d into eight equal parts then you move on okay i think let me actually denote this with a separate color so that you can actually uh see where i'm actually uh coming from so that you don't get confused all right so because it is actually important here yeah, i think something like this is better so and that is it that is the production of the ellipse on the screen kindly ensure you subscribe to my youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it my name is Olua Tombi blessing or the founder of my thank you